What's up everybody, it's PJ the Great and I've been like cutting myself a lot lately when I shave my head now for some reason. Last time I cut the back of my ear, this time I nicked the back of my neck. Um, anyway, getting ready to take a little trip to Laughlin, Nevada. Haven't been there since I took my mom for Mother's Day, now I'm taking her for Valentine's Day. Figured I would take you guys along for the ride, even though I did say that I'm not going to vlog when I'm spending time with mom, but I'm going to sneak in a little bit of um, vlogging in between time. Plus, I need to get some footage while I'm there. I need to get some footage for this little short film that I'm working on. Low known fact or unknown fact, I used to live in Laughlin, so that will give you an idea of what the short film is going to be about. But also, I thought I would give you guys a little update on what's been going on since that 2018 Here I Come video, where I'm at with all the things that I talked about. First thing I want to talk about is work. I said that work was on the up and up. It's kind of yeah, shaky right now. I used to be like a super rock star at work. I mean, if anybody wanted anything done and wanted it done right, that came to me. But things have changed at work. Change is inevitable and we have a lot more responsibilities now and the expectation level is higher. So kind of like for me, it's been like starting all over again. So it's like I'm learning all over again and I'm not the rock star that I used to be and it's like eating at me, but I'm working on it and it's just like a learning curve, just like I learned how to become a rock star before with all my responsibilities. Now I'm starting all over again and now I just need to learn how to be a rock star again with the new responsibilities and the new expectations. So that's where work is right now. I'm almost dressed. We're going to check in and um, see if mom is ready. And we're going to Laughlin, guys. Let's get it. That's all I could do. She still has one more to go. Finish it. No. She's not going to finish it. Too much. Too much. Good stuff though. jobs. Well, I kind of landed one. Reached out to a friend. Um, she just opened up her own business and I volunteered to do some free photo and videography work. So that's on the horizon. So 
that's a good step in the right direction. And I reached out to a buddy of mine who's a professional photographer. I know him from like maybe 18 years. And I'm just gonna pick his brain on photography and how to get better at that. So, I'm making moves, y'all. Here's the room we're staying in. Not too shabby. It's a pretty nice hotel. We haven't stayed in here in a while. We used to stay someplace else. Um, no view of the river, but got a nice little pool view there. So, this work. This work. Project that I said that I needed my friends help with I haven't reached out yet um, still trying to figure out how to reach out it's like I said before in that video it's like I haven't spoken to them in a long time so I don't know how receptive they're gonna be of it but the way that I look at it is it's a win-win situation so when I do reach out I suspect that maybe some of them would be on board others may be like what you're a videographer now yeah right but when they see the projects that i do with the friends that say yes i think they'll be lining up and saying okay my turn my turn at least that's what i'm hoping <sighs> okay town shop Good job, Joe Wonder. So that was my friend Joe Wonder on his channel, The Nerd Herd, with uh, my other friend, The Burt Train, doing his uh, beer review that I just showed you. Not too shabby for. Um, second video or which consider it the third video anyway not too shabby hey i want to talk to you guys about um my little vlog without the flip out screen video yeah i kind of screwed up twice in that video the first thing is i call my kit lens uh 15 to 55 it's actually at 18 to 55 and then uh the other time that i screwed up i kept saying that you can see everything behind you. What I meant to say is you can see everything on the side of you. So yeah, live and learn. I'm gonna leave the video up, but I wanted to explain that, how I kind of screwed that up. Yeah. Oh, and yes, I did come into the back of a store just so I could get that backdrop, yeah. stays open. It's probably because it's the only option here. I like it. A few moments later. Okay, so here's the plan. Me and mom are gonna go and uh, get dinner and then we're going to do a little bit of gambling. I'm gonna leave you guys here and we'll see ya when it's all said and done. How about that? 
Oh, sorry about the lighting in here. It's just not ideal at all. A few moments later. All right, back from dinner and back from a little gambling. I'm up $5. That's pretty cool. That wraps up today, but wait a minute, hold on. Doesn't wrap up the vlog, it just wraps up day number one. Day number two is coming to you in a few, but for right now, time to get some sleep. <sighs> just like that, it's morning. I told you not to go anywhere. Man, I slept hard last night. Exhausted. But now it's time for day two. Alright. More catching up to do. Let's get into it. Let's talk about this camera. Hang on. Okay, I don't know how much I like this camera and I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Um, first thing, it's really bad in low light as you can tell because the lighting in this room is not that good. So that's one thing I don't like about it. Uh, the second thing is the stabilization as I mentioned is horrible on this camera. I have to use it in 1080p hybrid stabilization because hybrid stabilization does not work on this camera in 4K and then that crops your image. So that's another thing I don't like about it. So I'm on the fence on if I want to sell it or if I want to keep it. The one thing I keep reminding myself is that it's a $400 camera that I only paid $194. But then I keep telling myself too that was it doesn't really matter how much you pay for it if you don't like it. And so far I really don't like it. And this thing right here, this flip up screen, believe it or not, is a distraction. Uh, when I have my Sony Cyber Shots, they don't have flip out screens, so I focus on the lens. This here, because I have the screen that I can look into, I find myself looking at looking up at it all the time so that's another thing I don't like about it I uh, yeah I know because most vloggers like flip up screens or flip out screens so they can see to me it's a distraction so those are a couple of things I don't like it about this camera all right time for some breakfast <laughs> to go to a breakfast buffet but I guess that's not the plan now <laughs> it's a ghost town up here this is supposed to be restaurant row and it's not a single restaurant yeah. up here open <laughs> Can't get a buffet, what's the next best thing? <laughs> Mickey D's. Can never go wrong with Mickey D's. Mickey D's. This is the main thing that I came for, is the coffee, of course, and the scenic view of an abandoned Kmart. <laughs> Let's have breakfast. So I'm at this old abandoned Kmart. It's really not that old. Um, I thought this would be a perfect place to do this little segment talking about the YouTube partnership program because they're abandoning me. Like This Kmart is abandoned. I used to shop at this Kmart every time I came to Laughlin. That's the wannabe Urbex. Coming out on me. 
Um, yeah, so about the YouTube partnership thing, I'm not upset about it. The only thing I was upset about is like maybe losing my ability to schedule posts and things like that. I don't want to lose that ability. If I don't lose that, then I'm all good. Um, depending on when I get this video up, you'll see ads or um, if you don't see ads because it's the 19th and tomorrow's the 20th, that's when I lose my partnership. I'm not upset about it because I wasn't here to make money anyway. I was just here to make videos and entertain. So, like I said, not upset about it. Not upset at you, YouTube. But uh, it is what it is. No longer a partner after today. Man, they came the urbex in me coming out and yeah i'm not a true urbex i just like exploring like abandoned stuff but there was a kmart there a little grocery store Al Dappi's where I used to do like some of my shopping when I lived out here in Laughlin hey I'm about to get out of here it's been fun hanging out with you on this Laughlin uh, weekend I guess you could call it hey I got one thing to ask you guys if you like the video go ahead and please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it tell me what you didn't like about it comments in the comment section down below i'm always looking for feedback so i can improve on the videos that i'm making so uh, feedback is appreciated um if you're just trolling i'm not going to listen to it constructive criticism i'll listen to it don't forget to subscribe push the subscribe button and um turn you know push that little bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time i upload new videos and now I'm about to take this drive home. It looks like it's about to rain, so yeah. Thank you for hanging out. Sorry the vlog was long, but since I only upload once, maybe twice every weekend, I figure you guys wouldn't mind. Until I see you next time, you know my name. It's PJ the Great, Audi 5000G. It's here, it's here, it's here.